Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Friday, almost a Tuesday, I don't know why. It is Friday, about 12.30. We are over at my mom's house. We came to see her and the puppy. Um, the kids get out of school early every Friday, like you guys know. Um, and so we came over here to kind of visit. I'm getting ready to run to AT&T. We're having some more issues with Jackson's phone. Not the phone number this time, but like with the phone or whatever. So I'm gonna come in here where it's quiet for a second. Um, today I thought I would vlog because a couple reasons. Um, if you guys have been following our channel for a while on here and like on TikTok, then you guys probably know about our oldest son, Carson, who was born in, um, 2011 and he was still born. So today would have been his 13th birthday. August 13th is his birthday. So it would have been his golden birthday. So we're going to do a little, a couple things to celebrate today. We always talk about him on his birthday. Obviously we talk about him throughout the year. You guys know that, but um, we get a special treat and we do Friday treats if you guys are familiar with that as well on our page. So today we're going to get some donuts from our favorite place, Bosa, and put some candles in them and just celebrate Carson. And then later tonight, Chris and I are taking the boys to a Padres versus Diamondbacks game just to do something fun and kind of make it a happy day. Um, and Aniston is going to stay with my mom and help puppy sit the puppy. So I just thought I would vlog the day um, since we're actually going to be like doing something like going to the game. So Jackson's still at school. He does not have early release on Friday. So I'm getting ready to leave here. Like I said, I have to run to AT&T and then I have um, three returns I have to make. And I have to pick up Cohen's prescription at Target. There's a CVS inside our Target where he gets his prescription filled. I'm definitely not gonna be able to get all of that done because I have like an hour until I leave to pick up Jackson. So I'm at least hoping to get AT&T done and maybe one return and then I can finish the other returns this weekend or early next week. So I just thought I would start a vlog. I meant to start this at home and I rushed out the door to pick up the kids and then we got in the car. Like it's been like go, go, go all day. So. I will be back shortly um, and check in with you guys then. All right, you guys, I am back to update my vlog. I'm sitting in the car rider line right now. Um, so after I left my mom's, I went to AT&T, like I told you guys I was going to do, and I literally spent the entire time there. I left and walked into Home Goods for two minutes, like not exaggerating, two minutes to return one thing. And I got back out, got in the car and drove here. Um, so school should be getting out within the next like 10, 15 minutes. Um, so long story short with AT&T, if you guys watched my vlog, um, a while back, I think it was like the first day of school vlog. I talked about it, um, how we were having issues with like Jackson's phone and like someone else answering his texts and like calls when people were trying to like text him or call him. So we went and got him a new phone number and I thought that was that. Well, I just got the bill and they were charging us for two lines. So basically we were being charged for both of the numbers they issued Jackson um, for like the monthly payments and like the um, activation fees and all that. So the number he was originally issued from AT&T, he only had like a week and a half, if that week, week and a half. And like I said, he wasn't able to like use it because someone else was still using it. And at first we thought it was just someone else still using it as an iMessage. And the lady today thinks someone was using it. it was like a full on like functioning phone number. So how it was able to be like given and or assigned, I should say to us when someone else has it and is using it is like beyond me. I have no idea how that happens, but we have AT&T and this number was when she called in and she entered the number for me, it was coming up as a first net customer, which I saw a sign hanging in there for first net, which I'm not sure. So don't quote me on this. I believe it's like a phone plan for first responders is what I gathered from the poster. I don't know anything about it though, which clearly we're not first responders. So Someone else has his phone number, so we switched it and got a new number, and so basically it was like this big mess because he had a promotion on the number they originally gave him on his device that they couldn't transfer over and blah, blah, blah. So I think we got it sorted out. I'm not gonna go into any more details to bore you because it's literally so confusing. Um, and thankfully the people at AT&T, they are so nice at the store I go to and they were, the people that had helped me last time were both there. So they knew already like what was going on. I didn't have to like explain anything. So it was so nice and easy. The lady called in for me and got everything sorted out. So now I just have to call when I get home. She wrote some notes for me and I just have to call and get the charges refunded to our account. So wish me luck with that. But anyways, now that I have blabbed on and bored you with that story, I'm just waiting for Jackson to come out once he gets out here we are going to head to bosa which is right down the street to get some donuts for a friday treat and to kind of like celebrate carson's birthday like i mentioned earlier um, and then we're just going to hang out at home for a little while we'll have a couple hours by the time we get home before we have to leave to go to the diamondbacks padres game so i'm debating if like i'm going to grab the donuts swing by my mom's and get like cohen I'll probably just let Aniston stay there because she's staying with my mom while we go to the game anyways. I had offered if she wanted to go to the Diamondbacks game, she could go and I would stay because we only have four tickets. 
Um, and she was like, no, I want to stay with Nana. I want to help puppy sit, was what she said. So I'm going to probably just leave Aniston there because it's literally just going to be a couple hours before we'd have to like turn around less than that actually to like drop her off. So that is that. Um, I'm kind of hungry. I forgot my water, which I'm super sad about because I take my water with me everywhere. So I'm like sitting here like parched and dying of thirst. I'm so dramatic, but I'm like so thirsty. Um, and then when we get home, I'll probably make something to eat because I'm not going to eat at like the Diamondbacks game. Maybe I'll snack on something, but like, I don't know. The last few times we went, I was just like, nothing really sounds good. There's, you know, like, I don't know, maybe we just sit next to places that aren't my favorite. So the kids and Chris will for sure eat there or the boys, I should say, and Chris will for sure eat there. But I'm getting kind of hungry because it was too soon to eat lunch when I left. So I drank my iced coffee and now I'm getting a little bit hungry. So when we get home, I'm going to make a late lunch and eat that before we head to the game. But I will definitely check back in once Jackson's in the car and we get our donuts and everything. Um, and I'll try to remember when we get back to my mom's to grab Cohen to show you guys the puppy again because she's so cute. The way she like runs on the tile and like slips and falls. It's my favorite. So I just thought I'd update you guys because I know you you guys were all dying to hear if I got the phone ordeal sorted out. So rest assured that is crossing our fingers at least that that is sorted out and we're good to go. But I will be checking back in with you guys shortly. Okay, we are back with Friday treats. I got Jackson from school. We got Bosa. We went to my mom's house and Cohen and Aniston had their donuts. Jackson had his in the car. And then we came home. Um, Aniston is staying with my mom, like I mentioned earlier. So I just thought I would show you what we got for treats. Jackson got this Thai iced tea with boba. He's not really a fan of it. At first he really liked it and I tried it and it's okay. It's really too sweet for me to be honest. And he has never had like this kind of boba. This is like true boba. So I don't think it was what he expected. Um, so Cohen had a maple bar. My mom had a maple bar and Aniston had a maple bar. Jackson had an apple fritter. I got Chris a Boston cream and then I got myself this buttermilk donut. They are so good. I've, already, I've just been picking at it, like <laughs> eating it. So I've eaten like the whole top off of it. And then this chocolate donut is a chocolate cake one. The lady was super sweet and she just like threw that in for free. So that was our Friday treats. I am going to go ahead and make something to eat. I don't know what I'm going to have. Probably just some Tyson black and chicken. I really want some sugar snap peas. If you guys watch my grocery hauls, you know, I've been obsessed with those. And I love to dip them in the jalapeno ranch. That's what I'm actually gonna have right now. That sounds amazing. I even have leftover turkey chili. I've got leftover pork loin. I didn't eat lunch because I was out running around. So then I ate this donut, like part of this donut. And I'm like, I need to eat like actual dinner before I snack on like donuts. Um, it's 4.15. I think we're gonna leave here. Chris wanted to leave by five, but I'm wondering if we should leave earlier so we don't get stuck in like massive traffic. So we'll see, but I will come back and update the vlog as we are on our way to the game. And then of course I will share like snippets of the game with you guys. Um, I just kind of have to be careful like what I share because if there's music and stuff playing in the background, then I'll get flagged for copyright. So that kind of stinks, but we will be back shortly. All right guys, where are we? In Phoenix. In Phoenix. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question, Cohen. We're almost to where? The Padres game. Who do you want to win? Padres. The Padres? Mm -hmm. I already know Jackson's answer. Answer. The Padres, my favorite Yeah, the Padres are Jackson's favorite. Cohen, what's your favorite team? Padres. It used to be the Diamondbacks, huh? I'm bummed. Why? Tatis isn't playing today. Yeah, maybe Sunday though. You guys get to come back Sunday and go oh, to a game too. see Jake Cronenworth play short and then Manny Machado at third and Adam Frazier at second. You wanna say hi, babe? What up, what up? We're, the stadium's pro, not even a mile. Away. I feel bad that Annie's not here. I miss her. She's my little broke bestie. She's always down to do whatever. She just doesn't have any money, and I feel bad, but she's hanging out with my mom, so I know she's having fun. Um, Here's the stadium. I'm gonna try to zoom in really quick for you guys. One of the only stadiums that has an attraction. Yep, there it is. Um, we have parking passes, so Chris is looking at that on his phone right now to see where exactly we're parking at. Um, it's about 6 o'clock and the game starts at 6.40, so we got stuck in a little bit of traffic, but it wasn't too bad, huh guys? Are you guys excited? Yeah. What kind of food do you think you'll eat at the game? Hot dog. Hot dog? I might get some nachos. Some nachos? What is going on with my Helmet nachos. Helmet nachos. Here, you want me to look at it, babe? You have, right there's the thing you scan. I want helmet nachos. Isn't Jefferson not this light, but the next? Yeah. The next light, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I don't remember if I told you guys or not. Oh, hold on, they want me to show you guys the stadium. They see, babe. There it is, Chase Field. 
there's so many capitals this summer. Yeah, don't mind the cracked glass in my car. Chris had to drive this while his work truck was in the shop and he got two cracks in the windshield so now we have to get the windshield replaced. Story of my life. I think you go up to the next light, right? It's always yeah, like this and then turn, sure. yeah. So this is Phoenix. For those of you who've never seen Phoenix before, here we are. We've been to so many D-backs games. It's one of our favorite things to do. Usually all of us go, but like I said, Chris just has four tickets. So Aniston wasn't able to go. She was fine with it at first, then she got a little bit upset and then she got over it. So there's been a few times where we've only taken the boys like when she was younger, but we- um, a science center. Yeah, the science center's fun, huh? The, yeah. yeah, I'll show you guys really quick. Sorry, just flip you around. I know. There's the sign, the sign right here. You can see like there's the children's museum, um, and then the science or the science center. That's not. Oh yeah, I thought you were pointing at something over that way. So it's pretty cool down here. There's a lot of cool museums. The children's museum is a lot of fun. The science center is a lot of fun. Um, what else have we done downtown in Phoenix? Can you think? Been to probably over a hundred D-backs games. No. <laughs> yeah, but you've been to a lot, but not that many. I mean, uh, maybe fifty. Jackson's got a ball by Arenado. Yeah, Nolan Arenado. Cohen, what do you think of downtown Phoenix? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Would you like to live here? Maybe. Or is it too busy? I'm, I like it here. I want to live here. Really? Mm -hmm. That surprises me. Cause it's then, really busy. Because then, like, we're right next to a baseball stadium. It's true. I like Sacramento, where we stayed in Sacramento. Yeah, that was downtown as well. Hotel. Yeah. So you can probably obviously tell that we are in the Subaru. Our um, Suburban was not ready yet, so it should be ready. Did they say the morning, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll pick that up in the morning. Jackson has baseball practice in the morning. They're going to the batting cages. So we'll probably just grab the Suburban like after they go to the batting cages. Because what time do you guys have the batting cages? Nine o'clock. Nine? Yeah, we'll probably just grab the Suburban after that. I don't even know if it'll be ready first thing in the morning. So I would show you like the city view, like how pretty it is right here but the sun is super bright, so I'm gonna wait and not oh. show you guys. Do you need to go in there? I don't know. All right, guys, I'm gonna get off of here and try to help him because we have parking passes, but it doesn't say what garage, so we're trying to figure that out. So I will check back in once we go into the game. Say bye, guys. Bye. Say hi. 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 How's Are the game going? Good. Top of the ninth, what's the score? 2-2. Two, two. Uh, sure. Will Myers at home for the top of the game. And then
right, you guys, we made it home from the game. It's super late. We just walked in the door like five minutes ago. It's 11.15. Chris has the boys upstairs right now and he's getting them to bed. And I'm like so tired. I've been yawning nonstop. So my eyes are watering. Like I'm ready for bed. So I just wanted to come on and close out the vlog. The game was supposed to end in fireworks tonight, but then they were unable to do the fireworks because there was lightning in the area. And then as we were walking out to the car, I was like, it smells like rain. And then it started pouring down rain. Thankfully, we were already in the car when it started raining, but it was like insane. And when it rains here in Arizona, um, it, like it'll be a downpour and then it floods like instantly. So the roads were pretty flooded and pretty bad. And then we get on the freeway and we get like two miles down the road and it's dry. No rain, still lightning, but no rain. So we didn't get to do the fireworks, which Jackson was bummed about, but Cone hates fireworks, so he was fine with that. Um, but we had a great time. The Diamondbacks, as you guys saw in the video, ended up winning. So I'm gonna head to bed, I'm exhausted. Jackson has batting practice at the batting cages tomorrow morning at like 9 a.m., so they have to leave like, you know, get up and get going and leave kinda early. And I think Chris is gonna have Cone go with them too, so. I'm gonna go to bed. Aniston ended up staying the night at my mom's house so we don't have to go pick her up. And so she's super happy. My mom said they played a bunch of board games and did puzzles and she had the time of her life. So I'm so happy that she had such a fun time and I'm so lucky that I have such an amazing mom that does these like one-on-one -on -one things with my kids because they really look forward to it. So Ooh, there's a bunch of lightning. Let's see if I can show you guys really quick. You can hear wind, it's starting to rain here now. I know my lights, oh, it's not gonna do it. I'm gonna say I know the lights glaring off the window, but all right, guys, I'm gonna go to bed, but thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you guys are not subscribed, please do so and go ahead and click that like, click that like button. Um, and we wanna just thank you guys for all your love and support. We appreciate it more than you will ever know. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend. Bye, guys.